Hey, what is up guys, Merkman4 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you my third and, at least for now, final video about a female doctor. Okay, so the first video I talked about just my thoughts on Jodie Whittaker's casting in general, uh, my second video, I became very specific about my thoughts on a female doctor, just the concept in general, not specifically towards Jodie Whittaker, but just the regular concept and what my issues with it were. And today's video is going to be tackling another related topic, and that is the hostilities that are on both sides of the fandom because of this casting. So I kind of touched on this in my last video, uh, but a lot of people are responding quite unreasonably and very irrationally to everything that's been going on in this past week since Jodie Whittaker has been announced. And I'm not just talking about the people who are against the idea of a female doctor. I have seen a lot of supporters of a female doctor who have been just as ridiculous as some of these people who are against it. And that is just in the way that they're responding to these types of people. A lot of the time they're very irrational and seem to assume that the only reason that somebody can be against a female doctor is if they're sexist, which is an absolutely ridiculous notion. Because you know what, with every person who's been cast as the doctor, there are going to be at least some people who have issues. And yes, there certainly are some people who are definitely, most definitely being sexist. And those types of people are actually in the minority, but their voice is being heard the most uh, because of all the people that are talking about those kinds of people. And a lot of those people are just way over the top and crossing the line significantly. But because of those kinds of people, that leads a lot of supporters of a female doctor to just automatically judge anybody who's against a female doctor and judge every single person by the same standards that if you're, you disagree with a female doctor, you must be sexist, which is just so, so wrong. And so I actually made a post on Reddit to this, and I'm glad to say that it got quite a bit of activity. I think somewhere around 300 or so comments on the issue, and I just highlighted a couple of points that I had seen around after the first couple of days after Jodie Whittaker was announced. And I, I've seen these kinds of hostilities towards plenty of other people on the internet, and I've also experienced some of it myself. The thing that actually triggered me to make this post on Reddit was uh, some responses that I got when I made a comment on a Radio Times article. And so the Radio Times posted an article about how Merriam-Webster uh, shut down a bunch of people who were complaining about a female doctor. And so I posted in the comments something very similar that I talked about in my previous video. Just how those people who are complaining do not take up the majority, and that there are plenty of people out there who do have valid and reasonable arguments for being against a female doctor. Not everybody who is against a female doctor is a sexist, and so I, I laid out all my basic points, um, and I got two responses to it. Now I will say I later got more responses after I made my post to Reddit, and the majority of them were in support of what I was saying, uh, but I just I want to read these two comments that were the first two comments that popped up when uh, I made this post. Also, before I read these comments, I would encourage you to either watch my previous video or uh, go to my Reddit post about this, which I've linked in the comments below, um, which I have a screenshot of my arguments, and you can read that or skim over it for context, um, just so that you have a general idea about what I've said, because if you read these comments without any of the context of what I've said, they don't seem quite as ridiculous because you don't really know what my content was. I personally feel like these comments stepped way over the line and were very, very undeserved by what I had to say. And I honestly don't really see anything that's sexist in any of my arguments. But, uh, hey, these people apparently thought I did. Or, the alternative is that they never read it at all, which I'll talk about in a second. Okay, so, first comment starts out like this. Fact is, if you're against a female doctor, you're against one of the original premises of the show. The regeneration is random, including gender. These are Gallifreyans, not humans. They shift gender like we change our hairstyle. Okay. Alright, that's not too bad, right? Th this person isn't being that terrible, and, uh, you know what, their logic isn't that bad, but, uh, from that comment, I assume 
that they've only seen either the new series or even just the last couple of series is more likely because, uh, as I talked about in my last video, it is 100% definitely not that common of a change for Time Lords to change gender. Changing gender like we change our hairstyle, not the case. So I'm guessing that they're new, but anyways, that's not even the bad part of the comment. Just, just hear, hear this, hear this, okay? And it, this is a radical shift. It, it just seems to come out of nowhere. Your rant is a little more than an excuse for your inability to accept change, which, you know what? Okay, fine. Yes, I do have difficulty accepting change, but you know what? That's a part of human nature. That shouldn't be an issue, and that's a lot thing that happens with every single doctor for some people, so really that point is kind of invalid. But uh, th this is part of a larger sentence. I just, I just wanted to make that point right in the middle of it, but he here we go. Uh, this, is, this is the best part. Hidden behind poor attempts to misdirect from your rape culture based ideals. Let me repeat that. Rape culture based ideals. What? Nothing that I said in any of my arguments had anything to do with that. As I mentioned in my previous video, I'm pretty darn confident that you could switch out the genders in all of my arguments and if you told them to somebody who didn't have any sort of context, didn't know that the Doctor had always been a male character, the, the arguments wouldn't lose any of their meaning. Uh, and the only reason that they're gender-specific arguments is because this is a gender-specific situation. It's, like, it's ridiculous how you can come up with something like that from the kind of arguments that I have. And I'm not saying that my arguments are, you know, reasons we shouldn't have a female doctor. They're just why I feel the way I do. And they certainly do not deserve a response like that. Now, that is the more extreme out of the two, but uh, I'll also read the second one as well. And this was, it's cute how you pretend not to be sexist when every argument you're putting forth is just riddled with sexism. When, once again, as I said, um, you know, there's nothing in there that couldn't be swapped out and, you know, wouldn't have the same meaning for the opposite sex. I just, I don't understand where that's coming from. And so I responded to him with the definition of sexism, which is, uh, I can't remember it offhand, but it's basically, you know, being discriminatory or demeaning towards a certain gender, um, usually towards the female sex. And so I responded to him uh, with the definition, and I asked him, okay, so if it's riddled with sexism, please explain to me which parts of it I am being prejudiced or discriminatory or demeaning towards women. And he never got back to me. So, I, I have a feeling that he just saw I don't like a female doctor and immediately made his own prejudices, which uh, I would also like to say that people who do that are arguably more sexist than anything that I have to say about it. Actually, no, they are more sexist than anything I have to say about it because I didn't say anything sexist. I was not demeaning at all towards women. I was not discriminatory at all towards women. But you, people like you, you make assumptions and because she's a woman, I'm not allowed to have my own opinion, which is absolutely ridiculous. If uh, this is about equality, if we should all treat both genders equally, then I should be able to have the same kind of opinion towards both men and women and not be discriminated towards, like people like this. Um, now, I didn't get too many more comments like that. There were a couple of people who uh, did respond back to my Reddit post um, that didn't seem to quite understand what I was trying to get at and did, in fact, call me sexist. One person did, in fact, legitimately say that anybody who disagrees with a female doctor is in fact sexist, which that's just utterly ridiculous and you, you can't listen to the people who are like that. But thankfully most of the people who commented on the post did agree with my sentiments even if they didn't agree with uh, my reasoning behind not liking a female doctor and that's okay because you know what the whole point of the post was it wasn't about trying to get people to see my way that was never my goal. As, uh, same thing I mentioned in the last video too. That's not my goal. I'm just trying to explain myself. And here, I'm just trying to express my anger and my complete and utter annoyance that people just can't seem to respect other people's opinions. Um, I'm, I'm definitely not saying that there aren't people who are being completely sexist and misogynistic. The people who are saying, oh, I'm going to quit the show because it's a female doctor or the show is completely ruined now. 
that is ridiculous and shame on you for not even giving them a chance. But at the same time, the people who don't even bother to give the others who are doubtful of this brand new concept, if, if they just don't even give them the chance to grow to like it, I say shame on you as well. And in fact, I am more annoyed at people like you just because you, you claim to be, you know, being the good guys, you know, the people who aren't sexist, you're like, oh yeah, we're good because we support a female doctor, and yet you go and you discriminate against others despite, you know, they might have valid reasons. It's, it's just utterly ridiculous. And I'm not a supporter of a female doctor, I've made that very clear, but people like that annoy me way, 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 way more than a female doctor. I could never grow to appreciate or grow to understand uh, people like that, but a female doctor, I do think, given time and given the opportunity to see her performance, I think I could grow to enjoy her. And that's another thing too. It's only been a week since she's been announced as the doctor, and that's hardly enough time to pass any sort of judgment. And uh, so what a lot of people say to people like me, who aren't a big fan of it, they say, wait and see, you know, give her a chance. Uh, and what I say to that is, yes, that's, that's what I'm doing, but here's the thing, just because I feel this way right now doesn't mean my views aren't going to change. I don't know what my views are going to be once I actually see her as the doctor. So something that I really don't like is when people are so hypocritical and they tell you to wait to judge the new doctor until you see her in action, but they're the very same people who judge you before you've even had a chance to form a final opinion. Which is... It's just stupid. And I just... I hate that people are like that. Why can't people just accept other people's opinions? And they don't have to agree with them, but at least respect that that's how other people feel. We don't all have to think the same way. I'm sure that with every other actor who's been cast as the Doctor, there have been plenty of naysayers. And some of them may have quit the show, some of them may have come around and grown to really love the Doctor in that incarnation. But really what matters is that we support everyone else, regardless of if we agree with their opinion or not, and just try to be a positive influence on others and not talk down to people, no matter how ridiculous or demeaning they're being. Now, I definitely do agree, as I mentioned before, there are people who certainly uh, don't really deserve that kind of respect. Um, people who definitely cross the line. But not everybody falls under the same category. It's just a lot of people seem to be treating it as if everybody who disagrees with a female doctor falls under the same umbrella, and that is just simply not true. And uh, Peter Davison, actually, the fifth doctor himself, he was one of the people who is not the biggest fan of that decision, and what he, he made a Twitter post that summed it up just perfectly, uh, that we should try to encourage one another and not try to, you know, be venomous and spiteful and attacking each other, despite our differing opinions. And I think that's the best way to go about it. Nothing good is going to get done from just being full of anger and hatred, and that's the exact opposite of what Doctor Who supports. It's so ironic that one of the biggest things about the 13th Doctor is how everyone needs to be accepting of her, and yet the fandom is not being accepting to other parts of itself, which is absolutely ironic and ridiculous. And so, yeah, it's just, this is something that's really been on my mind this past week, uh, and it just it really bugs me that there are people like this, and I hope that this message is going to get to some people and maybe they'll start to learn to treat others better and respect others' opinions no matter how different they are. And as I've said, I don't really support a female doctor, but if you do, that's awesome, that's great. And I'm not going to try to disagree with you or argue your point. I'm not going to say, oh, you're wrong because I think a female doctor is wrong. No, I, I mean, and as a fan myself, I think it's very important that you want the show to succeed. Because I've also seen people saying that they want the show to end now that it's been a female doctor because it's ruined it for them. And I think that is also absolutely ridiculous. People like that, maybe you shouldn't take so seriously. It's good to respect everyone's opinions, but 
those are a bit extreme, so maybe take those with a bit more of a, a grain of salt. But yeah, we just we need to respect one another and care about what everyone thinks. And as Peter Davison said, just try to be an encouragement to others. That's that's the kind of thing that I want to, to hear. Being a naysayer of the 13th Doctor myself, I don't want to be told, oh, you're sexist because of that. I want to be reassured as to why I shouldn't be worried. I want to be encouraged. I don't want to be put down even more. That's not going to help me. You're just driving people away by doing that and you're not helping anybody. But by being encouraging and supportive and helpful, that way you might actually bring some people around to the idea of a female doctor. And that's what I'm hoping will happen to me. Uh, I'm very excited to see what she's going to bring to the role despite being skeptical about it. And once I see her actually in action as the doctor, I'm sure that I'll start to come around. I just, I just need time. And so I'm sure that's what a lot of other people need too, just time to adjust. And once again, this isn't like this is a new thing. With every single person who's cast, there are people who are going to be difficult and who are going to disagree with the casting. And a lot of the time, all they need is simply time and a chance to be able to judge them. So basically, this is just a call for everyone to do that, do just that. Just respect each other's opinions. If you are someone who totally supports a female doctor 100% of the way, please try to encourage other people as well. And don't try to force the idea upon them. Just try to, you know, don't be negative towards them. Try to, try to give them positive ideas, but I, I would say don't try to force it on them because that also doesn't really help with acceptance if you're trying to shove it down their throat. Uh, just don't be negative. And for people who are not in support of a female doctor, please respect everyone who is in support of it and also, of course, don't put them down because of it and try to be positive about this and even though it's a change you might not like try to be open to the possibility of your ideas being changed your thoughts being changed because wouldn't it be better if you went into it thinking that you you're not a huge fan of it but then come out totally surprised and realize that you love it as opposed to just quitting the show cold turkey and never finding out if maybe you did in fact end up liking it anyways i've been drawing on for quite a long time now uh, I've probably repeated some of my points a couple of times by this point, but I just, I, this is such, this is just something I'm really passionate about, and I just really want to get it across to as many people as I can, um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you can all help to spread this message, anybody who sees this, please share either this video or the Reddit post if you, if you've seen somebody who is being disrespectful and completely over the line with what they're saying, just try to get everybody to be supportive of each other so we can turn the Doctor Who community into a force for positivity instead of negativity because no one wants a fandom that's just full of negativity. And we shouldn't be conflicted like this. We shouldn't be split into two sides. We, we, just like with everything else in the show, we can all have our own separate opinions, but that doesn't mean we have to be divided. I think we just we need to come together as one and, of course, have our different opinions but just like with everything else, we respect each other's opinions and everybody's allowed to like or dislike whatever they so choose. And let's just let it be that way. So anyways, Mergaman 4 over and out. Please put your thoughts on the issue in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys later.